What's up guys, it's Nelly Natural and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY fast hair growth Ayurvedic leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner is jam-packed with tons of beneficial ingredients that can promote hair growth and really promote hair health. It's a blend of aloe vera and Ayurvedic herbs like Jatamanzi and fenugreek. They all combine to form an amazing leave-in conditioner spritz that'll really strengthen your hair. It left my curls feeling stronger than ever before, so if you want to know how to make it, stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. The first step in this process is to prepare the Ayurvedic mixture. First, you want to add 1 tablespoon of fenugreek powder into a bowl. It's high in protein and it also prevents hair loss and breakage. Next, you want to add 1 tablespoon of Jatamanzi powder. Jatamanzi helps the hair strands to look shiny. Add 1 tablespoon of amla powder to the bowl as well. Amla powder is rich in nutrients, it prevents premature graying, and it also helps with hair growth. After, you want to heat about 3 cups of water on the stove. Heat the water for about 3-5 to five minutes on medium heat. Carefully pour the hot water into the powders. Using a wooden spoon, stir the powders into the water so that way you have an even mixture throughout. Make sure that there are no dry clumps left in the liquid. Once you're done stirring, let it sit in room temperature for about 24 hours so that way all the nutrients can get extracted into the water. Using a colander, you're going to want to strain the water from the herbal powder. If you notice that a lot of powder is coming through using a colander, you can also use a stocking or a wig cap to strain the mixture. Here's what the Ayurvedic water should look like. The next ingredient to make in this leave-in conditioner is rose water. First, you want to add about 1 4th cup of dried rose petals into a pot. Set the stove temperature to medium heat. Add about 1 cup of water into the rose petals and begin to stir it when steam starts to form. Rose water has tons of benefits. It adds shine and manageability to your curls. It also helps to balance your hair's pH and it helps with scalp issues such as dandruff and itchiness. This is a great addition to the Ayurvedic leave-in conditioner. Once you're done stirring, you're going to want to cover the rose water for about one minute. And once the rose petals begin to lose color, that means most of their minerals have deposited into the water. They should look like that when they're done. Strain the rose water from the petals using a colander and be careful at this step because the water is very hot. As I'm straining, I like to lift the colander a little bit to make sure that all the rose water is getting out. Here's what your rose water should be looking like by the time you're finished. The next thing to prepare for this Ayurvedic leave-in conditioner is aloe vera. So first you want to begin by cutting an aloe vera leaf vertically. This just ensures that you're able to access the gel inside the aloe vera leaf more easily. Once you're finished cutting, cut the slices of aloe vera in half. All of the aloe vera leaf's nutrients are located on the inside where that gooey, mushy consistency is. It adds a lot of slip to your curls and it also adds tons of shine. Aloe vera also has proteolytic enzymes which help fight dandruff. You want to repeat the same process of cutting each slice that you made in half. Next, you want to extract the aloe vera gel into a bowl. Be really careful at this step because it is easy to cut your finger. To extract it, I'm simply putting my knife behind the aloe vera gel and trying to extract as much of it as possible. Finally, 
From my slices, this is about how much aloe vera gel I was able to get. Now you may be wondering how you get the big chunks out, and it's really simple. You, you just want to place a stocking cap over the bowl of aloe vera and then flip the bowl upside down. And make sure you have another bowl handy so that way the aloe vera gel can begin leaking from the stocking cap into the other bowl. Make sure to squeeze that stocking cap so you could get as much of it out as possible. If it's hard to get out, you could let it sit for a bit and as the aloe vera warms up, it'll be easier to squeeze through the stocking cap. Here's how much aloe vera gel I was able to extract from my aloe vera leaf. The final step is putting all these ingredients together in order to make that Ayurvedic leave-in conditioner spray. Using a funnel, add the herbal mixture into a spray bottle. Next, add the aloe vera gel into that same spray bottle. Last but not least, add the rose water in there too. Now the Ayurvedic leave-in conditioner spritz is ready to use on your curls. Give it a little shake to make sure that all the ingredients are blended and you're good to go. Here's how I applied this leave-in conditioner to my curls. I started on freshly washed hair and I just began to spritz it all over my curls. My water bottle broke so I had to take off the cap but I used the same process. I started to just pour the water onto my hair and then begin to massage it in so that way it can thoroughly penetrate my hair strands. What I noticed about this treatment is that it does not have a lot of slip but it does feel like it is strengthening my hair. And I'm also noticing extra shine in my curls as I'm applying this leave-in conditioner to them. I'm going to repeat the same process to the back sections of my hair of applying this leave-in conditioner and then just massaging it in throughout the length of my hair strands. Here are my all finished results using this leave-in conditioner. My hair feels strengthened and it also looks more shiny. As with any DIY, always remember to test patch first to make sure that you won't have any allergic reactions. You pause this video and read these directions on how to test patch on your curls. Thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week.